It's Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz and our guest is Bernard Parks, member of the Los Angeles City Council. And sir, there was a vote recently. I think it was 12 to 1, 13 to 1, and you were in the one. That's right. And that dealt with banning plastic bags in the city of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You've been in minorities before in terms of your votes. Yes, so right. talk to me about why you chose to be the one against the banning of plastic bags. Well, I think it's very poor poli uh, public policy. Please. And I think the two main issues I believe was overlooked, or three really, Please. was the liability issue of potential in the sense of the health issues. Uh, most of the studies I've read are, reflect that there is a legitimate health issue of transporting bags that are not sanitary. They grow bacteria. It grows even greater if it's in cars. Let's be very specific yeah. because I want our viewers mm -hmm. to understand your position. Yeah. So if we have cloth bags That's right. and let's say you got some meat, some ground beef, That's right. and you had it in a plastic bag because those are still allowed, That's but right. it, the juice starts to leak. That's true. And then you take the, the mesh bag, the, the cloth bag, you bring it inside, then you put it back in your car and there's the juices from yeah, the ground Or beef. chicken, salmonella. Right. Those are all things that are potentially a great ha hazard to not only the employee that's bagging your grocery, but also when you take it home. And, the, and again, they also reflect that the longer it's in your car in the heat, you, it grows even faster. The other issue that's a health area that many people have overlooked, the multi-use bags, many of them have lead-based paint in them, or lead-based uh, uh It's still fabric. allowed? Well, the issue is it comes from China. I don't think we can basically uh, cause them to change the way they do business. And if you remember, uh, China almost destroyed our toy industry a couple of years ago with lead bait paint mm -hmm. on the toys. Mm -hmm. So you're going to give people uh, lead-based uh, bags to carry their groceries in, which is we all know that's a health issue. You also have the potential of uh, uh, bacteria in the bag that needs, uh, they're saying to most people this would be foreign to them. When you shop, every time you shop, you have to launder your bag. Now, who's going to do that? Right. And so you go through but, that. But what about the health risks to the environment of the plastic bag? I mean, we know, we've seen, and it may be anecdotal, birds with plastic bags on their beaks. You know, you go down to a storm drain at the L.A. River, and you just see plastic bags right at the edge. Mm -hmm. What about that? Well, I think the issue is, as they said in the, sto uh, in the study from Columbia University, the issue of the environmental potential environmental changes do not outweigh the health issues. And I will always pick the health issues for human beings over the fact that a bird or a seal or somebody else in the, in the ocean might be harmed. But if we start, I understand that the sea life consumes the pieces of plastic, yeah. it gets into their system, then it gets into our system, yeah. we consume them. Yeah. Well, I, but I think the issue is this, is that uh, I don't think it's any more dangerous then when it rains, whatever the debris that's on the street moves into the storm drain and goes into the ocean. I mean, so the issue is, that, and also if we as a city can train the general public to recycle, what, 70 to 80 percent of its trash with the Newspapers, blue and the green right, and, bag sure. and, the, and, the, and the different uh, trash cans, why can't we educate people on what to do with the bags? Almost 100 percent of the people that I've talked with and said, what do you do with your plastic bags when you get home? every one of them uses it for another purpose. They line their trash can. They put their trash in it and put it in walk the bag. Walk their dog. They walk their dog. Right. No one takes them and just goes out and throws them in a storm drain. So where those are coming from, and in almost every study I've seen, they reflected that those numbers that are articulated are far exaggerated than what the reality is. In fact, one study reflected that plastic bags do not come in the top five of debris left or going through the storm drain and a variety of other things. Okay, his name is Bernard Parks. He's a member of the Los Angeles City Council. My name is Brad Pomerantz. You've been watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.